Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I got so carried away with Leanne's poetry that I've completely forgotten what I was going to talk about today. <laughs> and I was shaking all morning because I was going to have to talk this evening. But you stopped me shaking as well, Leanne. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, may I tell you a little bit about Skull Campus and what it is and where it came from and background to it all and where it's going? Um, Skull Campus, um, on the surface, is, is a web page. Um, it's www.skullcampus.com. And for those on cyberspace, that's S-C-H-U-L-L, -L, Skull Campus. Um, it's a not-for-profit little business that we set up. It's a funny little business, because we don't have any overheads, we don't have any staff, um, we advertise courses, workshops, forums um, on, on the Skull Campus website. Um, just to give you a, an idea of what's on it and who's on it, um, I, I just came to live in West Cork a few years ago and um, I just find it such a fantastic, open-minded, wonderful place to live. Um, and I have two little boys. We came on holidays first, and when I saw what was here, I said, God, we have to live here because my two little boys have to grow up here in such a wonderful place. But the people, God, they're so, such fantastic, well-traveled, sort of humble people living around here, which I'm meeting one by one, incredibly clever people. And um, just, just to give you a, an idea of it, um, one, one of the forums we've got on in October is on peak oil. And a lot of you know of Dr. Colin Campbell, um, the peak oil expert in Bally de Hob. Um, he set up the Association for the Study of Peak Oil. So there's a forum on peak oil, but it's not so much... W I mean, we all know the oil's running out at this stage. That, that's been proven. But it's more, what are the solutions to it all? And um, we have a forum on that in October. In June of this year, we've got a forum on genetically modif modified foods, and people will be speaking for and against. Um, there are all sorts of workshops. If you go on to skullcampus.com, um, if you go into food, um, you'll get anything from the fantastic courses that are given at Glebe Gardens, um, uh, organic gardening and all that sort of thing. Equally, you've got the Good Things Cafe in, in Durris, um, food courses, um, you know, cook cookery courses and all that. Anything from that to... Um, um, Nick Slocum and his wonderful whale watching, which goes on around here. Um, but it's encouraging more people to give courses. And um, Nick now has started a wildlife photography course. And through sort of Skull Campus, he's got in touch with Chris O'Dell. And Chris and Nick are starting a photographic course um, based in Grove House in Skull shortly. Um, Chris, as you know, was the cinematographer for the Inspector Morse films. So all these people live around here. They're fantastic people. Um, so it's it's encouraging more and more um, courses. And just and f and it's 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 spending time with these people. It's not in sort of teacher classroom style operation. It's it's all about spending a few hours with these people, and you learn so much more. See, the, the whole world has sort of gone down the, dare I say, a sort of closed education route. And what Skull Campus is all about is opening up the m people's minds and meeting these people and just learning again. Um, from these wonderful people. Um, 
my my sort of business life is in renewable energy and um, waste management, and I've been that, at that for the last twenty odd years. Um, and it's it's what Declan was talking about earlier on. Um, we set up composting plants and we're setting up anaerobic digestion plants and bioenergy plants around Ireland and England at the moment. But something really hit me the other day. Um, for the last month I've been involved in a really revolutionary renewable energy um, invention, which, which unfortunately I can't tell anybody about yet, <laughs> even though we did file for a patent a couple of weeks ago. Um, but just... Just to go back to the education, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a farmer's son from North Cork, and I was very lucky with fantastic teachers in primary school and, and secondary school. I went to the Christian Brothers in Charleville. And yes, I got leathered for not knowing my homework <laughs> several times. Um, we were in a classroom and, and if you didn't, if you weren't able to answer a question, you got a leather across your hand. And this was a leather made out of two pieces of leather with a little bit of metal in between. And one particular day, I, I had learnt the wrong bit of history, <laughs> learnt the wrong few pages. So um, the teacher realised this, so I got three leathers because I didn't know the answers. And my hand was purple from my tips up to my arm, virtually. <laughs> but I, yeah, I'm not giving out about the Christian brothers. We had terrific respect for each other. So that was sort of, that was my experience of secondary education. <laughs> you laugh. I, I mean, I'm not one of these people that just gives out about the church because these things happen. Um, I believe it's a minority. But anyway... Um, that was my experience of, of secondary education. And then I went on to um, third level education in Dublin and I did agricultural science, being a, being a farmer's son. Um, and I, I was really looking forward to university training and opening your mind and, you know, you know what, you, was it Newman wrote about university training and I'd read this before I went and I thought, God, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. But it wasn't. And I, I know you shouldn't give out about things that you've done in life. <laughs> but, you know, we'd four lectures every morning and we'd practicals and science things all afternoon and all that. And it was like third level education for me was, was technical, you know, and and it wasn't what, what I imagined university to be like. So, um, but going back to the invention that I'm working on at the moment, see, I find that all these people, um, I find education desperately closed and going down just closed routes. And I think to get out of the situation we're in in Ireland and the world at the moment, we need to reinvent ourselves and we need to open our minds and we need to, we need to just wake up again. And I was, I was with a, a venture capital company in, in Dublin during the week and I was showing them this invention. And I, the venture capital guy I was talking to was an engineer. And within the first half a minute he said, oh no, that's not going to work at all. And I thought, how, how on earth <laughs> can you say within half a minute that this revolutionary renewable energy device is not going to work? So um, anyway, you, s you see where I'm coming from, that Skull Campus is all about spending time with, with the, peop the wonderful people that, that live in West Cork, but not, and not just in uh, a lecture situation. We've had three wonderful forums in the last few months. Um, the first one was on national governance. And we had about 30 people in a sitting room in Grove House in Skull. And a guy called Jeremy Gilbert gave a fantastic introductory talk on national governance. And it's how, uh, how he thought you know, to his ideas of how, how Ireland has been governed at the moment, how it should change. And we had an hour and a half discussion after that, 
fantastic discussion and fantastic solutions. And I think everything from now on should be about solutions. I think we should draw a line in the sand. <laughs> Let's stop giving out about NAMA. Let's stop giving out about the banks. Let's stop giving out about the government and the politicians and all the rest of it. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of our energy giving out about these things. It's all about solutions from here on. And I think that's, that's beginning. And um, so, so we, had this, we had this wonderful discussion on national governance. And we wrote up some notes. And every, all the notes were all positive. Solutions, what could happen? What, what could help this country get out of the mess we're in at the moment? I heard yesterday that there was cash coming from Iceland instead of ash, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> um, but we sent the notes of that national governance to every elected individual in the country. And that has had a reaction, and we've, we've got reactions back from TDs. And, and, and it's a case of starting this whole movement, starting this whole pos positive movement of solutions to get out of, out of the situation. Our second um, forum a few weeks ago was on jobs and enterprise. And this wonderful guy from called Senan Cook came from um, Dunhill in County Waterford. And he was a fantastic speaker. And in Dunhill, the community has developed 98 jobs and something like 12 different businesses. The community financed it, them, financed it themselves. They got the money together, they got the site, they built the factories, and new businesses came in. And they have created 98 jobs in this tiny little rural area near the sea in, in County Waterford. So um, that was the forum on jobs. And that empowered and enthused people the 40 or 50 people who were at the forum a couple of weeks ago. And on Thursday night last, night before last, we had a lovely forum at Inish Beg. Inish Beg is a beautiful house down, um, down the Baltimore Road here. If you want to see it, anybody, it's inishbeg.com. <laughs> um, and that forum was on climate change. And Nick Slocum gave a fantastic um, introduction, uh, very well researched, and, and the, f the, f the f room was, there were about 20 people there, um, and what we, what we don't do is, um, unlike Ted, and I think this is a fantastic forum, Ted, I, I take my hat off um, to you for organizing this, um, Skull Campus is a little bit different. Um, you can come and you can be anonymous at the forums, um, but and it's 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 not filmed and it's it's not recorded, and it's just so people can really get into conversation and discussion on all of these sort of things. And if 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 we report on a forum, we don't put people's names on it or anything. It's just it's just the solutions. Um, but we had a great great discussion on climate change, and everybody learned quite a lot. Um, <coughs> so Skull Campus, just get back to the focus on the core of it again. So if you get on to SkullCampus.com, you can click into food, business, photography, um, all sorts of um, arts, crafts. There's there's a great group in West Cork called Hands On West Cork. We're linked to that. So it's it's um, Jose's um, wife. Um, oh, there you are. <laughs> um, Alison Greenwood Chairs. I mean, she runs a course. Two people come on the course. And for a couple of days, they make a chair. You know, I mean, how fantastic. You've, you've sort of one-to-one -one tuition. I think you're somebody helping you. So it's one-to-one -one tuition. So after two days, they, they go away have with a chair from the course. I mean, you've all this real hands-on stuff. I mean, you can't learn that on the internet, or you can't learn that in a, in a huge audience or whatever. 
Um, so that's just one example. But there are people doing stained glass courses. There are people doing woodwork and etc. 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 So um, it's links to all these fantastic people that that give these courses all around West Cork. So in a way, I suppose what Skull Campus is, uh, to a certain extent, is a facilitator. And if you get on the site, um, you can see all the, the things that happen around West Cork. God, time flies. <laughs> um, um, just from my background, I had a wonderful childhood um, and lived in a house in West Cork. And I'm, I'm a strong believer that things don't just happen overnight, you know. But um, George Berkeley, the famous philosopher, used to holiday in our house in the early 1700s. So I was sort of brought up sort of uh, walking in the footsteps of George Berkeley, who set up third-level education in, in, in the States. And my mother always wanted to set up Churchtown, that little village in North Cork, as a university village. But it, it sort of didn't happen. So now Skull, I've, uh, we've started this up in Skull. So Skull, the village is the campus. Do you see what I mean? You don't need to raise a whole lot of money and <laughs> build a whole new university or something, you know. And we try new, not to use words like university and, and you know, regular things because it's, it's the village is the campus. Um, we just organize forums and organize courses and workshops and things in lovely houses around the area, of, of which there are so many. Um, um, Carol Gilbert has been a fantastic, um, she's written a lot of in the, the, the Southern Star, which is, which is a wonderful paper, it's the biggest regional newspaper in Ireland, I think. And, and Carol has got behind Skull Campus and written a lot about it. Um, so that's where it's all coming. That, that's what it is. I mean, on the surface, you go to skullcampus.com. You can see what's behind it. Um, it's about people doing it for themselves again. We, we are the solution for the future. Each and every one of us, together. We cannot depend on bankers and, and uh, politicians. I'm sure there are lots of good bankers, and I know there are lots of good politicians. But, but from, from all of this, um, there's next Friday, and I don't want to take the wind out of next Friday's sales as such, but there's a guy from Baltimore giving a talk at a national conference in Waterford next Friday. And if you read probably the Southern Star the following Thursday, you'll read all about it. But it's all about Carberry goes green. And it's all about developing renewable energy and the food business in, in the Carberry region, which is this region. And that's all I'm going to say about it because, because it's, it's going to be announced next Friday at a jobs conference in, in Waterford at which Minister Eamon O'Queeve is going to be at. And there's all going to be all sorts of funding and everything for it. Um, so that's Skull Campus. That's what it does. Now, in the last, can I take one minute? <laughs> and that's campusworld.ie. Somebody called Helen Wells, who is in the Fastnet Film Festival, um, she's coming to help out with Skull Campus. So now, campusworld.ie will be set up in the next couple of weeks. So. I encourage each and every one of you to um, set up campuses around the southern coast, around Ireland, around the world. We've got somebody some from South Africa setting up a um, couple of campuses on the garden route. We've got somebody from West Country in England setting up a campus. We've got a girl in New York doing it. Um, we hope to have Mizzen campus. We hope to have Carberry campus. We hope to have Copper Coast campus. Um, and we'll all link in to campusworld.ie. Um, um, one last thing is there's going to be a campus shop. So people, 
in the area, like Alison producing chairs and, and Mr. Seeger producing pottery and Nigel James at the back there, a fantastic artist. His webpage is paintworks.com, that's P-A-Y-N-T works.com. Um, it'll be a portal to sell produce and products from the area. Um, in one day, on the 1st of December last, 598 people logged on to SkullCampus.com and most of them fr were from the Middle East. And that's because my friend Colin Campbell wrote a, an article on peak oil, which you really should read. <laughs> it's, on, it's on Skull Campus. And um, so w we, can, we can use the internet and we can get all these people to... I'm going to be thrown off in a minute, sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>